Hey guys, A21 Mayo here, and today we are going to be having ourselves an operator guide for the brand new defender in Operation Neon Don Aruni. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. So as I said, Aruni is the brand new defender that came in the newest season, Operation Neon Don. She is a two armor, two speed, and she has access to the P10 Roni or the MK14. Now what makes her so unique in her loadout is that she obviously does have the MK14, which is the very first DMR to be put on defense in Rainbow Six Siege. So it's a very, very strong primary that you have access to when you do play a Rooney. You also can slap on the 1.5 optic to take longer range gunfights. But if you're someone who likes to be a little bit more aggressive, you have the P10 Roni. Very small magazine capacity, but a very, very high fire rate at 980 rounds per minute. So, you know, Aruni is a good operator because she can fit both play styles. Someone who might want to anchor, stay sight, you know, hold angles, passive angles, pixels. And then you also have the P10 Roni with people who might want to quick peek something or, you know, take a lot of gunfights early on and, and have favorable gunfights close range. You have the P10 Roni to your advantage there as well. Now, her secondary... It's very bland, basic pistol, the, the PRB-92, which is basically Capitos pistol. It was also recently added to Nomad, but yeah, so she has the pistol, um, very basic. It has okay iron sights, uh, 14 rounds in the magazine, so good pistol. Or sorry, correction, she has 15 rounds in the magazine on the PRB-92. So overall, good pistol, reliable, you know, when you need to use it. And then her secondary gadget, she has the choice between the bulletproof camera or barbed wire. Now, personally, I like the bulletproof camera. A few reasons for this. So firstly, obviously, it gives intel. You can also th see through smokes whenever you might have a smoke on your team. And he blocks the line of sight when he throws down and detonates a smoke canister in front of the bulletproof camera. But also, her primary gadget, which we'll get into a little bit later on in the video... It kind of acts as a piece of barbed wire or an ADS, so you can always listen for the sound cue or visually see when it is disabled, notifying you that there is an enemy in some sort of range of wherever they just disabled that Aruni laser gate. So, um, you can gather a lot of intel, and also, again, her primary gadget can slow down the attackers to an extent, very similar to what a piece of barbed wire could do on a staircase or a doorway. So, it, it's really up to you what you want to bring on your defensive side but personally i like the bulletproof camera now before we carry on with the video i would greatly appreciate it if you guys went down to the comment section description and dropped a like on the video these videos take a long time for all the content creators to make and just a simple like or even a comment can help the video be pushed into the youtube algorithm so that way it gets recommended to more people and a larger audience and while you're down there i also want to know your guys' thoughts on skyscraper and its rework Tell me some pros and cons that you see on the map. I'm very curious to hear your guys' opinions in the comments section. Okay, so now that I've gone over all that, I want to uh, firstly go over her secondary utility. I'm not going to go too into depth or over her barbed wire at all, just because, you know, it's kind of a waste of time. Everyone knows what barbed wire can do, what it's capable of. So um, on Skyscraper, you know, you can put a bulletproof camera in a location like this. If you open up the barricade like that... And then I'll make this line of sight here. And then there's usually always some sort of rotate or line of sight in this area between Geisha and Karaoke. So if you make the rotate there, you can not only see this rotate, this main hallway here. But you can also see this doorway off of one bulletproof camera. So if we get on this, you can see all three locations there and even a little bit of the top of the black staircase. And if you guys don't know what the staircase is called, it is called the Black Staircase. That's what most people call it, at least. But you can see all these primary key locations, hot spots, where a lot of the times attackers will try to rotate through or from or take map control on. So, very good bulletproof camera. That's why I love the uh, bulletproof camera on Aruni, just because you can do so many different things. Open up lines of sight like that. You can also see the rotate there as well. So, there's a lot of different places and areas where you can use it to your advantage and gather as much intel as you can off of one camera. And I'm also sure by now you guys noticed that you can make rotates, line of sight, whatever it is with her melee. So that is a new mechanic to any operator in Siege. Um, opening a shotgun sized hole, maybe a little bit smaller with the melee system on an operator. So it's a, it's a nice mechanic. It kind of makes the destruction of any 
bomb site on defense a little bit more capable just with the Rooney's melee system. So it's a very nice mechanic added to the game. Now, one thing that you can do with this mechanic, if I rotate downstairs here. So one thing you can do with this is, for example, you could break a barricade like that for a little bit better sound propagation. And if you guys don't know what that is, basically... It's where sound travels through and from to your operator and your, and your game, so that way you can hear it more accurately. So if you have a hole like this or anything broken in a barricade, it allows sound to propagate a little bit more accurate for you. So what you're able to do is, it's very common for the attacking team to try to take Geisha Balcony and attack into Geisha, which is located over there. Um, so you go and they go and repel here on this balk around here. So what you're able to do with the Rooney, with her melee system, is very fast and capable runouts. As an attacker, you might notice this may be here, maybe a, d a defender shot it to shoot a drone behind the barricade, whatever it may be. But if you sit here, listen for the re repel mechanic, and then if you melee the door, you can run out, kill anyone who might be on repel here or there. So that's a very, very secret way, I guess you could say, to use that mechanic or, you know, just break it. And then hold this angle here for anyone trying to rotate to barbecue, or sorry, kitchen window balcony. Um, so using a Rooney's melee mechanic and the one punch with it, it's very nice to allow yourself to have more efficient runouts on areas where you might not be able to prep a window or a doorway because it might reveal your location, etc. So it's a nice little mechanic if you are playing very aggressive or you want to go for a run out with a Rooney that you're able to do with the melee system. All right, so moving on now, so... Everyone, of course, has probably seen or at least heard of a Rooney tricking some sort of hard breach gadget on a wall. So what you're able to do here, if you reinforced a two panel wall and then place your Rooney's on the wall itself here. And then if you rotate back inside, you can very easily hear, if I shut up for a second here, you can hear the Rooney gates activated. So that buzzing and humming is actually the gates being activated, and once I step closer to it, you hear them deactivate. So what you're able to do with this is stand in between. It works best on a two-panel reinforced wall, because if it was a three-panel like this one, you would kind of have to choose a side between two different panels and leave the third one unattended, so that means it would activate again. But what you're able to do on a two-panel wall is stand in the middle once you hear a Habana charge or a Thermite placing a charge or an Ace throwing down his Selma. You step away from the wall and it will destroy whatever hard breaching device is on the wall. So it's a very sneaky way to kind of, I guess, a Rooney trick very similar to Cade tricking or Bandit tricking by completely destroying whatever hard breaching gadget is on the wall. So again, you just step up to the wall, it deactivates once you hear a Habana shoot. Any any amount of X Kairos pellets will be destroyed. It doesn't matter if it's all 18 or if it's two. They will all be destroyed as long as they are connected to the wall. So again, it's deactivated right now. I step away and it destroys all pellets, all Selmas, any thermite charges, whatever it is that's trying to hard breach any reinforced wall. This right here is also a very cheeky angle to uh, get a angle onto the VIP staircase, which is located right here. So what you're able to do is just kind of, you know, with a Rooney's melee system, melee out the bookshelf, and then you can get an angle on anyone trying to walk up the staircase there. It's an off angle. It's very nice. Now, you have to make sure that nobody's walking into your T door, but just a little tip for a skyscraper for you guys. Another cool trick that you can do with a Rooney and her laser gate is it pretty much acts as an ADS over one my magnet. And it has an infinite amount of charges, but it does have a cooldown of 30 seconds once it is deactivated. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the mechanic, you have to use some sort of projectile, so whether that be a Zofia impact or concussion mine, a flashbang grenade, or even a drone, can disable the Aruni gate for, for a minimum of a 30 second window. So what it can do is it pretty much, again, acts as a Jaeger ADS or my Magnet. So if you place an Aruni laser gate on a window here and then place an ADS or two, you pretty much now have three ADSs here on this one window. And you're forcing the attackers to burn a drone or, again, any sort of projectile for pretty much doing close to nothing. All you really did was place an Aruni gate on this window. And if they decide to not burn it and jump in, it'll take away 30 points of their HP. So it's a very double-sided edged sword to your team and your 
advantage. So just a nice little trick that you can do with Aruni and her laser gate. You can stack ADSs or again well my magnets and force the attackers to burn it and then burn the ADSs as well. So it all adds up over time and eating up as much of the attacker's utility as you can. Now, one last little trick that I want to show you guys that's very similar to K-tricking a hatch or even impact tricking is you can also a Rooney trick a hatch very similar to just a reinforced wall. So, for example, here we're on the map Oregon. We're looking at server hatch, which is located in security or server room. And if you look on the bulletproof camera towards the middle bottom section of the screen, you can see me on the cams, which I'm located here. And the Aruni Syria gate is located right around that area. And just a little rule of thumb, it's around a 3 meter radius where the gate will activate and deactivate. So, as you can see, not exactly 3 meters. I didn't really test it to... A far enough extent but it is around three or two meters so there you can hear it deactivate and then once i step away it reactivates so what you're able to do is just for the sake of the video i'm going to show that it is deactivated right now get off the camera step away and then it is reactivated so if you ever have a maverick or even a habana or an ace trying to open this hatch you can sit here put a piece of barbed wire on freezer stairs over there barricade the top of the door even put down a goo mine so that way they can't crouch walk down the stairs and kill you but you can sit here, deactivate it, listen for a Mav walk in, trying to Mav the hatch. And you can step away, take away 30% of his HP for pretty much free by wasting 10 or 20 seconds of your time on defense. Or again, you can, you can trick a Habana charge or a Selma. Now you have to make sure that you deactivate it and reactivate it just by learning the audio cues of the utility itself. So that's a nice little trick that you can do with a Rooney and her gadget. You can also trick hatches with it. You can also do the same thing on the laundry hatch on Oregon. I haven't tested too many hatches, but pretty much a rule of thumb to follow if you do want a Rooney trick a hatch is try to have it as vertically close to you as you can whenever you boost up on a object like this laundry machine or that storage cabinet over there in freezer. So if you place the Aruni gadget here in lobby, you can then trick the hatch again if they want to ace charge it or habana charge it or even use a secondary hard breach gadget. You can trick a hard breaching piece of utility for pretty much free by using 10 to 30 seconds of your time on defense. Now that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, again, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the Disrupt Gaming channel. We would greatly appreciate it over here. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new, consider sharing it with a friend or a family member. And check out the description for the Disrupt Gaming shop. Maybe you guys can check out some of the merch, buy some for Christmas. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.